Welcome guys. This is Prakash from theskillwill.com and in today's session we will be discussing about WooCommerce import and export functionality. So very often we need to import or export product from one of our WordPress website to another one because uh, it is a tedious process to update product details and create a new product on a new website. It is easy if we can find out a way to export or import products from our existing website. So let us check out how we can import or export products within the websites. So this is one of my websites and I have created around 60 products on this website and if I have to uh, recreate all these products on my new website it will be tedious. So what I am doing is uh, I will export all these 60 products to my new domain or subdomain. So let us start. So here I am on the products page and if I look at these options, it says add, import and export. So this is a very simple way to export the products to the new website or subdomain or a new domain. So what I will do, I will just click on export. So uh, I'm getting few options uh, about which columns should be exported, which product type should be exported, which product category should be exported. So if you want to filter down few of your products, and export only those products you can do it from here uh, also it is asking me export custom meta so of course i need uh, my custom meta also to be exported to the new domain so uh, here it says generate csv so csv if you don't know it is comma separated values so it is kind of a file which uh, this will generate and the file will have the data uh, instead of columns it will have the commas so uh, let us click on generate CSV and depending on how many products your uh, website has it will take the time so I just have 60 products so it has downloaded all the products in csv file so let us go on our new domain and check out how we can import it on the new domain now so here i am on the dashboard i will go to the products because it's a new website it is having create product and start import options. So if you already have some existing products, uh, you won't see the screen, but it will be something like, uh, where is the product? Okay, so, so it will be something like this for you if you have some existing product on the store. So since it is giving me a uh, start import option, you might get an option like this import. So what I will do, I will start importing it. So here I'm getting a few steps like upload CSV file, column mapping, import, and it's done. So here I just need to drag and drop 
the file and uh, otherwise you can also select this file from uh, the download folder or whichever folder you have uh, saved the file. Uh, it is giving me option update existing product if you have existing product and if you want the product to be updated with the new values from the other website you can do that. So I will say continue. And now it is asking me if I uh, want to map the fields. So what I will do is I will, uh, because I don't want any more changes and I just want uh, the same product to be here on the new domain. I will just say run the importer. So it started working and it is saying your products are now being imported. So depending on how many products you have, it will take the time to import the product to the new website. So here it is, it's done and it says import complete, 60 products imported, file uploaded, okay. And it is asking me to check the products. So here it is and if you check now, I exactly have the same products here on my new domain. So it is all the data which was there on the original website. Now I have it on my second website also. So in case if you are selling from multiple uh, websites or the client wish to have uh, the same products uh, maybe migrated to a new website or domain, you can do that easily without any plugins. But uh, there can be situations where uh, you have specific requirements and you need more than just the basic thing. So here the products were simple downloadable products. There can be variable products and uh, other things. So for that, I have researched and found out few products which can help you to uh, maybe export or import such products. So the first plugin uh, which we have in the list is the product import export for WooCommerce. So here it is and uh, this is a amazing plugin which you can download and use it for products uh, which has some premium version features also. So the plugin, of course, uh, it has premium version. So importantly, uh, it has a function to import export via FTP. So you can also import from URL and other things. So these are the features. I will leave the link in the description and you can check out those. So the second one that we have is the import any XML or CSV file to WordPress. So it is not necessary that uh, the client will send you a CSV file. There can be a XML form of file. So for different file format, you can explore this WP all import, import any XML or CSV file to WordPress. So this is an amazing plugin. You can check out the details and the process for installation and uh, import of files. So this is the second one. And this also has a premium version which is available. And uh, if you check the details, uh, I will leave in the description as well. So it has a lot of premium features. Uh, the last one that we have in this list is the product CSV import suite. 
So as the name suggests, it is a, a premium kind of a product, but has different functionalities like the product CSV import suite works out of the box with WooCommerce booking, WooCommerce subscriptions, product vendors, WooCommerce photography, WooCommerce brands, WooCommerce composite products, Google product feed and a lot more. So in case you have a different kind of a product and uh, you want to import those products from the existing website, you can do that very well with the product CSV import suite. So these are a few options and you can explore many things with these premium and free plugins as well. So this is how we can easily import or export the products from one website to another. So that is all in today's session. Uh, thank you so much. Keep watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel. And if you want more knowledge about WordPress, WordPress designing, websites and making the clients or your own websites beautiful, keep watching my videos. Thank you so much.